The public library is more than a repository of books. It's a mysterious, wondrous place with the power to change lives. Follow your passions, follow your heart, and the things you need will come. It is bad enough that people are dying of AIDS, but no one should die of ignorance. It is strange that the years teach us patience, that the shorter our time, the greater our capacity for waiting. When people say, she's got everything, I've only one answer, I haven't had tomorrow. Success is a great deodorant, it takes away all your past smells, the ups and downs, the problems and stress, along with all the happiness, have given me optimism and hope because I am living proof of survival. The problem with people who have no vices is that generally you can be pretty sure they're going to have some pretty annoying virtues. You can be fat and still be sexy. It all depends on how you feel about yourself. I don't entirely approve of some of the things I have done or am or have been, but I'm me. God knows I'm me. I call upon you to draw from the depths of your being to prove that we are a human race to prove that our love outweighs our need to hate, that our compassion is more compelling than our need to blame. If you can't laugh at yourself, you're cooked. I feel very adventurous. There are so many doors to be opened, and I'm not afraid to look behind them. Acting is fun. It's not my whole life. It's not my entire being. It's secondary to my life. My life is primary. I'm running in the primary. As you know, give, remember, always to give. That is the one thing that will make you grow. You can't choose between right and wrong by taking a census. I mean, how many young women get a set of rubies just for doing something wholesome like swimming laps or win a diamond ring at ping pong with their husband? Well, I did. And for all of these memories and the people in my life, I feel blessed. I gave a very dear friend of mine my humanitarian award because you don't need an award to be or not be a humanitarian. You find out who your real friends are when you're involved in a scandal. You can't cry on a diamond's shoulder and diamonds won't keep you warm at night, but they're sure fun when the sun shines. So much is said with the electricity of the eyes, the intensity of a whisper. Less is more. I've never thought of my jewelry as trophies. I'm here to take care of it and to love it, for we are only temporary custodians of beauty. I want it all quickly, cause I don't want God to stop and think and wonder if I'm getting more than my share. I just love the feeling of flying. I could jump six feet bareback, and it was the closest thing to being Pegasus and flying next to God. It's the most liberating, freedom-making feeling in the world. I have never felt more alive than when I watch my children delight in something never more alive than when I have watched a great artist perform and never richer than when I have scored a big check to fight AIDS. When you're fat, the world is divided into two groups, people who bug you and people who leave you alone. The funny thing is, supporters and saboteurs exist in either camp. I adore wearing gems, but not because they are mine. You can't possess radiance. You can only admire it. When women stops blushing, she has lost the most powerful weapon of charm. I feel like 45. I don't look bad for someone my age. With my history of illnesses and operations and all those anesthetics, when they knock you out, it gives you time to catch up on your beauty sleep. If it is not to make the world better, what is money for? Fragrance is an incredibly intimate thing. It can evoke very specific thoughts or memories and is a little different for each person who wears it. I also think it's the most accessible luxury. I suppose when they reach a certain age some men are afraid to grow up. It seems the older the men get, the younger their new wives get. I like the connection with fans and people who have been supportive of me. And I love the idea of real feedback and a two-way street which is very, very modern. Every breath you take today should be with someone else. In mind, the most sensible thing to do to people you hate is to drink their brandy. You can always avert throwing yourself in front of an oncoming train. There is something that just pulls you away and it has pulled me away because I'm not dead yet, just at the brink of impact. Sometimes I have been really grazed by that train. If someone's dumb enough 
to offer me a million dollars to make a picture. I'm certainly not dumb enough to turn it down. I never plan to acquire a lot of jewels or a lot of husbands. For me, life happened just as it does for anyone else. I love to be casual and comfortable, but I also love the easy glamour of wearing jewelry all the time. I've only slept with men I've been married to. How many women can make that claim? Acting is to me now artificial. Seeing people suffer is real. It couldn't be more real. Some people don't like to look at it in the face because it's painful. But if nobody does, then nothing gets done. There's still so much more to do. I can't sit back and be complacent. And none of us should be. I get around now in a wheelchair. But I get around. When you're older, you'll appreciate the advantages of sleeping alone. If you hate it, if you find you have made a mistake, it will still have been a change. As with a holiday, if it ends in your wishing to come home, its aim is accomplished. You are who you are. All you can do in this world is help others to be who they are and better themselves. Elizabeth Roseman Taylor February 27, 1932 March 23, 2011 At Heathwood, her family's home at 8 Wildwood Road in Hampstead Garden Suburb, Northwest London, England. She received dual British-American citizenship at birth, as her parents, art dealer, Frances Len Taylor and stage actress Sarah Southern, were United States citizens, both originally from Arkansas City, Kansas. Taylor was a British and American actress. She began her career as a child actress in the early 1940s, and was one of the most popular stars of classical Hollywood cinema in the 1950s. She then became the world's highest paid movie star in the 1960s, remaining a well-known public figure for the rest of her life. In 1999, the American Film Institute named her the seventh greatest female screen legend of classic Hollywood cinema. She began receiving more enjoyable roles in the mid-1950s, beginning with the epic drama giant 1956 and starred in several critically and commercially successful films in the following years. These included two film adaptations of plays by Tennessee Williams, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof 1958, and suddenly, Last Summer 1959. Taylor won a Golden Globe for Best Actress for the latter. Although she disliked her role as a call girl in Butterfield 81960, her last film for MGM, she won the Academy Award for Best Actress for her performance. During the production of the film Cleopatra in 1961, Taylor and co-star Richard Burton began an extramarital affair, which caused a scandal. Despite public disapproval, they continued their relationship and were married in 1964, dubbed Liz and Dick by the media. They starred in 11 films together, including The Vip S1963, The Sandpiper 1965, The Taming of the Shrew 1967, and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf 1966. Taylor received the best reviews of her career for Wolf, winning her second Academy Award and several other awards for her performance. She and Burton divorced in 1974 but reconciled soon after, remarrying in 1975. The second marriage ended in divorce in 1976. Taylor was one of the first celebrities to take part in HIV or AIDS activism. She co-founded the American Foundation for AIDS Research in 1985 and the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation in 1991. From the early 1990s until her death, she dedicated her time to philanthropy for which she received several accolades, including the Presidential Citizens Medal. Throughout her career, Taylor's personal life was the subject of constant media attention. She was married eight times to seven men converted to Judaism, endured several serious illnesses and led a jet-set lifestyle, including assembling one of the most expensive private collections of jewelry in the world. After many years of ill health, Taylor died from congestive heart failure in 2011 at the age of 79.